meditation is mindfulness on the present happening of the body, not listening to the body. The more we pay attention to the body, there will be more attachment. We should pay attention to the present happening of the body and mind, not to focus on the external body, but to focus inside the body and mind. The external appearance of the body is not much important. What is happening in the body and mind is really important. The practice of mindfulness is to know about the original truth, which is ever new impermanent nature. To know the impermanent nature, we need to detach from the body and mind we used to know. Creator truth is concerned with the original truth. To understand the original truth, we must be able to to use the created truth without attachment. If there is attachments, there will be misunderstanding. Misunderstanding make us understand unreal as real. Misunderstanding cannot understand the original truth, which is real. To be the right mindfulness, we have to use the present moment time, which is limitless. The time of past, present and future, we are choosing as limit. This second, last seconds and the next second has limits. This minute, the previous minutes and the next minutes has limit. We think the limited time, one second, one minute, one hour, one day, one week, one month, one year, one life as real. We think our body and mind as something real. It is because of misunderstanding is giving us the wrong answer. We used to believe in humans and the intelligence of the human. That is our traditional mistake. To detach from the created truth, we need to accept the original truth, which is appearing and disappearing continuously at the present moment time. All the created truths are not to reject and not to attach. Now we are living in the created world. We ourselves are just created truth. So using the created truth is unavoidable. We cannot stop using the created truth, but we can detach from the created truth. If we cannot understand the original truth directly, we can understand the truth of the created truth, which is not something, not someone, not one time and one place. We are using our our self, our body and mind, and also the other people. When we use the human beings and animals, we should not forget the truth, which is not something, not someone, just to use only. This is the practice of using the created truth with right understanding. If there is right understanding, there will be detachment. If there is wrong understanding, there will be attachment. 
we think ourselves as someone or something. This is wrong view. That's why we like ourselves and the other people who are similar to us. Like the animals, they love themselves too much. That's why they will pay attention to the same animals with them. It is because of attachment to themselves. They cannot understand the truth of the created truth, which is not something, not someone, just to use and experience only without attachment. For the human beings, we can use the truth about the created truth, which means we can try to use the created truth with right understanding. We can understand this second, this minute, this hour or that hour, today or yesterday, this week or the previous week, this month or the next month, this year or the next year, this life or the next life. We can understand the limited time and place. We believe today as true. This life is true. We should change our view by find the right understanding of not this and not that, not something and not someone, not this place and not that place, not this time and not that time, just to use an experience only without attachment. I'm using the created truth with right understanding. We all are using the created truth, but most of us are using with wrong understanding or misunderstanding. By using the right view or right understanding, we should try to detach from the wrong view or wrong understanding. For the Buddhism, they believe in Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. For the other religions, they believe in God. The object to believe is different. But when we Buddhists believe in Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha, we are using the idea of something or someone. It's true. When the other religions believe in God, they use the idea of something or someone is true. What I mean is, Buddhism believe Buddha is someone special, his teaching is something special, and his followers, Sangha, are also someone special. For the other religions, they believe in God, they think God is someone special. Someone or something or the time and place has limit. The present moment time is not something or someone, which is limitless or beyond limits. Understanding the truth of the created truth is also right understanding. Understanding the original truth, ever new impermanent nature, is also right understanding. We can understand something or someone. That's why we can also understand not something or not someone also. Instead of believing something or someone is true, we should believe something or someone is just label, just name. The truth is not something, not someone. The present moment time is not the created time, such as second, minute, hour, day, week, month, years or life. The present moment time is the original truth. The ever new impermanent nature is appearing and disappearing at each present moment time. Because of not knowing the original truth, we think someone was born at one time and one place and then that person died at the another time and place. See from one side is the cause of knowing something or someone. 
only when we see from on the side of the truth, which is not something, not someone, we will not see something or someone. Something or someone is in the mind. If we cannot remove something or someone from the mind, we can never understand the original truth, which is not something, not someone. For the person who meet with Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha, he or she should obey the desire of Buddha. Fulfilling the desire of living beings will never end. If we went to get married, it will never end. The desire to get married will appear again and again if we obey that desire. Getting married is concerned with all living beings, even with animals. For the animals, they have no choice except to obey their desire. But for us who meet with Buddha teaching, we should fulfill the desire of Buddha to do good deeds and meditation anywhere, anytime, in any condition or situation. By doing good deeds and meditation more and more, we can change our desire from normal desire to the noble desire. Noble desire means when to help the other people, when to do all good deeds, and when to purify the mind, when to be stable and purify the mind. These are noble desire. If we are not doing good deeds and meditation continuously, that noble desire in our mind will be very weak. The desire to eat, to sleep, to love, to love, to hate, to get married will be very strong. We should understand that we have been getting married for many, many times. It is not strange. We have been using that desire for many, many times. Now we have choice to stay alone and to use our belongings, our life, our ability, our intelligence to keep research and to practice samatha and vipassana meditation. The desire to get married is caused by the action of getting married. If we accept that desire, it will appear again and again in the future. We should detach from that desire by obeying the noble desire of Buddha and his follower. We should represent to Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Even if we already get married, we should try to detach from them. It will be more difficult to detach our own family. Therefore, to detach from the desire of getting married is better than to detach from our own family. If we understand like this, this is the right understanding. This is called theoretical knowledge. That knowledge is not enough, not complete. We should try to be practical knowledge. Because we are young, we are able to do many, many things. We should use this ability and intelligence not only for oneself, not for oneself, but for each one, everyone. Not for one family, but for each family, all family. In this way, we will be able to detach from our own self. I'm teaching about this truth to many people and now there are many monks and nuns and yogis in my center. Some monks and nuns are not getting married. Some have already married, but they can abandon their family and they can do 
many many good deeds and meditation with the life of monk, nun or yogi. There are also some monks who became monks in their childhood. They disrobe and get married, but later they they come back to the center and they try to do good deeds and meditation as a yogi. There are also some yogis. They get married with each other in my center. They stay away from the center. Later they came back and they do good deeds and meditation as a yogi again. Doing good deeds and meditation is beyond limit. Everyone should do in any condition. We may make mistake, but we should never give up doing good deeds and meditation. In this way, doing good deeds and meditation and desire to do good deeds and meditation will be our own habit. If we own noble desire and action, there will be no place in the mind for normal desire and normal action. Uh, so say that is that uh, necessary to uh, practice in a certain order, which is uh, samatha first, and then after that, uh, chain to vipassana. For the samatha, unknown, uh, it's unnecessary to uh, be the uh, to accept the jhana. Samatha take long time, but if we can practice samatha in detail, it is good. But we should practice samatha with right understanding. To have right understanding is more important than practicing samatha or vipassana. So what kinds of bhavana we are using is not important as what kind of intelligence we are using. Intelligence we are using is more important than samatha or vipassana bhavana. This is the weakness of normal people. They will take care only what they care, what what action, what the people are doing, not about what intelligence they are using, what intention and intelligence they are using. To understand the intention and intelligence is difficult. To understand the action or doing is easy. For normal people, they, they may do only the easy thing. Therefore, they may take care of the action. They may take care of what kind of action is doing. So the habit of interesting in, in the person, who is he or who is she, and what is he or she doing, need to detach. We should not attach to our normal ability and action. If we can detach from our own normal ability and action, we can understand more deeply about the mind and intelligence. Uh, so uh, my question is, uh, if I don't practice meditation uh, uh, regularly every day, uh, I also don't want to do good deeds. So uh, what is the uh, relationship between uh, doing good deeds and uh, practicing meditation? Practicing meditation is the greatest doing good deeds. All good deeds are necessary to do. I experience many yogis and monks and nuns who are practicing meditation only. They do the same practice time after time and attachment to the practice of meditation became stronger. To solve this problem, 
I guide them to do other good deeds also. But it is difficult to detach from the practice of meditation. Therefore, I have to teach to do good deeds and meditation. I have to teach doing good deeds and meditation, and I have to do good deeds and meditation also. This is on meditation and also guiding the new meditators not to make mistakes. They do both meditation and good deeds. Some are more interested in meditation. Some are more interested in doing other good deeds. Some are only interested to do good deeds without meditation. Therefore, I combine these two to do good deeds with mindfulness and detachment. In this way, doing good deeds and practicing meditation became the one. In former time, doing other good deeds is one way. Practicing meditation is another way. If someone choose to do good deeds, they will not meditate. If someone choose to practice meditation, they will not do good deeds. This kind of understanding and actions are not complete. Because I'm, I am dealing with them for many years and solving this problem became my responsibility. I have to change the theory to do good deeds and meditation or to do good deeds with meditation. Even I have to use that theory. At the present time, many people follow me. This is the way how I solve the problems of attachment to incomplete theory and practice.